Hey guys, what's up? It's another day. Sorry, the lighting kind of sucks. It's uh, raining and overcast. But uh, it's another day. I got all that wood cleaned up. I'll show you guys eventually when I get back home. But I'm on my way to my undisclosed location and I'm picking up another load of free pallets. And so I get these through a buddy. A buddy of mine does some contracting for a company here. And uh, you know he does a, he does a fair amount there. And he brought it up. I was like, hey, do you care if somebody comes to get these pallets? They're like, no, because they throw them in the dumpster anyway. So they're like, it saves us money on uh, garbage. So I've been coming to pick them up. Is that many less that they have to throw away? So it's it's a good. Uh, it's a good relationship. I'm saving them some money and they're saving me some money on some lumber. But I'm on my way over there to pick up another load. It is kind of sprinkling. I was going to set the camera up, uh, you know, facing, you know, away from the building and respecting all their privacy and stuff like that. But uh, with it raining, I'm not really sure I'm going to do that because I don't want to get this camera wet. These cameras are not cheap. Uh, these are the Canon G7X Mark III's. Uh, we paid about 800 bucks a piece. So I know it's not the most expensive camera you can get, but it is. It's expensive. So um, I'm running over there now. I gotta get home. I got a lot of stuff to do. And then my buddy that I'm meeting up with right now to get these pallets, he's coming over a little bit later to help me build the raised garden beds, which I'm gonna try to get on camera as well. Uh, he doesn't seem to mind, I don't think, so, uh, as long as he doesn't care, I'll probably try to get some of it filmed, but I'm going to go pick these up. If it's not raining too bad, I might try to get you guys a little time lapse of me loading them up. If not, I'll check in with you guys once I get back in the truck, and we're headed home, but stay tuned. I'll catch you in a little bit. Hi right, guys, so I'm back. It was raining, so I didn't record, but there's the truck. You guys can see. But uh, you guys saw a clip we were working on wood. So here's some. You can see there. Test splits right there. Uh, look at this pallet, guys. It's almost gone until I bought new ones. Or I didn't buy them, but I got new ones. And then go through the garage. And look at all that wood. So we got our first share of wood. Um, my buddy D Dean's on his way over. He was right behind me, but no, uh, I guess he stopped. But uh, we're gonna start working on that raised garden bed. We're gonna put right here, which means those panels gotta go somewhere. Uh, I was trying to wait until we got the bed in before I put the panels in, but um, we're gonna have to move those, I guess. But I'm saying butt a lot. I guess I'm going to start unstrapping those pallets and getting them unloaded and that way we can kind of get to work but one last time look at this if you guys remember the stack of pallets we had they are pretty much gone I got to knock the nails out of those and then we got all these new ones now hey guys so got another update didn't really film that day it was raining a lot and kind of just crappy outside but uh, me and Chris are out here again. She is breaking more pallets. Showed you guys a stack. We had them stacked up over there. She's breaking them up. Knocking nails out. And that is the project me and Dean's been working on. Built the bottom one's a six foot one. The top one's a seven foot one. And the backyard we have completed six foot. I'll show you guys. But this is pretty much all it is. We framed it out with... Uh, two by fours and one by fours that we got from the pallets and then all the sides are just the pallet slats nothing major so I got a bunch of stuff over here this was all pretty much uh, recycled from pallets we did go buy four two by fours because <coughs> there was a it was off and on sprinkles and there was a really bad storm coming in and I just wanted to get the boxes done or at least, you know, framed out done. 
so we just went ahead and went and got uh, two by four by eights. We got four of them. Again, that was just to make. I know you guys can't see me. That was just to make my life easy because there was a really bad storm coming in, and I didn't really want to take the time to break all the pallets down because we weren't going to have it done by the time it started raining. In fact, we were actually out there building in the rain. Uh, I had a cap pop-up canopy and. We just kind of hung out under there, stayed pretty dry for the most part, so we just kept going and knocking it out and got what we could done done while he was here helping me, so I'm off on my own today doing this, but I'll show you guys the completed one, which is right there, but this is the other six foot box, completely done, we do have to level off a little bit and fill in holes that dogs like to dig but we gotta level it all out you guys can kinda maybe tell the camera's pretty much straight right there so you guys can see this, the drop off but that's uh where we're at right now I'm probably gonna throw you guys up on the little tripod here and get going on some more of these slats and just give you guys a quick time lapse so you guys can kinda see what we're doing uh, it's pretty simple we're just slat uh, slapping them up on the saw, cutting 27 inches, screwing them in. But I'll let you guys check that out now. Hey guys, wanted to show you something that we got for breaking these pallets up. Um, it was a little bit of an investment, a little bit more money than we wanted to spend, so we were a little concerned ourselves with paying for it. But if you're doing projects like this, it's something you're definitely going to want. If we didn't have this, there's no way we would have gotten as far as we have because this has just made the job so much easier. They're called either a pallet buster or a wrecking bar. Let me show you it. So this came from Menards. It's got a pretty good length to it, and then it's got the double pry bar at the end. Um, but that thing, it's made the job so much easier. I'll set you guys up so you can actually see how well it works, but if you're doing jobs like this, that's something you're definitely going to want to get. So with this pallet, because it's a solid pallet, I did have to knock one of them out so I could actually fit the bar in there. I found that you had to kind of have it close to the end as you can get since it's not longer than the board, but then you just step on the pallet so that you have a little weight and just pull backwards. Now with the last one, it's easy enough just to do that. This one, the wood's a little bit more brittle, so it ripped a little bit. But it just comes out so much easier. When we didn't have this tool, we were taking way longer to break the pallets. And we were ending up with a lot of pallets busted in half, cracked in the center. Just a lot of garbage because of it. But so much easier. Definitely something I recommend if you're going to be doing pallet things, pallet builds, pallet jobs. It just makes your job a lot easier. if you're trying to save these bottom boards makes it real easy to get these nails out without a lot of work All right, guys, so I don't know how much of this you're actually seeing, but uh, I'm out of wood, so I can't really show you guys a good example up close, but um, I can't even see what I'm doing here. Let me flip. So, 
zoom out. So to hang up the new board just to make it easy so I don't have, because I only got two hands and it's hard. I've been using a clamp, clamps right to the frame. And then key, this is key. You have to pre-drill your holes in the board when you're using this pallet wood. Otherwise when you drill in, it's going to split and it's going to split down the whole, basically the whole board. So you have to pre-drill. But this side, if I can get around without killing myself, this side is almost done. I got probably three, four more boards. Come around, finish this side up, and then we're done with the seven foot. Hey guys, we're back. Um, <clears throat> so, got a fire going. So bright I can't even see the screen, but hopefully you guys see it. Crystal's got a rager going because, you know, she don't know how to do small fires. But we've been burning up stuff like this, which hopefully you guys, I screen so br I can't see, but burning up scrap pieces, uh, bad pallet wood. We have a whole heap of extra cuts over there that's not going to be good for any project, so we're going to burn those off. We also have all of this stuff that was just wood that we, junk wood we weren't going to use. She's over there making noise, but uh, we have all that uh, bad wood that we cut up to burn. And you guys didn't get to see it because I finished it off camera, but both boxes are done that I had left to do. There's the uh, cutoff pieces. It's going to be scrap. Just get rid of it. But you guys can see we still got a ton of pallet wood there, some pallet wood here. Pallet wood all along the house. That stuff's going to get broken up and burnt. So is that stuff. But the boxes are done. So we're just going to clear coat them and then we'll be able to actually move them and finalize everything and level the ground. So you can see we got a load of maple wood. I split some of it. Small stuff that we can throw. This is going to be good for the smoker. And then we got some fire logs. Actual fire log size. But with that, I got besides the chainsaw, I got another new toy, and that is this. So, if you guys know what you're looking at, you know what it is. If you guys don't, that would be a electric lock splitter. So, if you ever try splitting wood by hand, you know it is a royal pain in the butt. And not saying we couldn't do it. I'm more or less saying I don't want to do it. It would take a lot longer, a lot more manual labor, really bad. This is a really good workout, but it's going to be a really bad long term because I am trying to. We got so much wood. We got all this stuff. We got two stacks out in front of the house. We got so much wood, it's going to be really bad for. 
pretty much everything. I'm not gonna, it's gonna take me forever to do it. I'm not gonna have time to get it all done by hand. But with the log splitter, it's gonna make it a lot faster and we're gonna get it cut or split up a lot, a lot faster, a lot better. I thought I was getting, uh, I thought I had allergies going on, but now I kinda think she got me sick because I'm pretty sure she was the first one. So now I don't think it's allergies, now I think I'm just sick. So I took some medicine, but I was still able to come out here and manage to get the, those boxes banged out and I'm gonna kinda leave the clear coating up to her because now I work today, tomorrow, and the next day. So I'm probably just gonna work and rest and see if I can't get over this by the time I get off for my two two? Yeah. Yeah, you just yeah two off days. No, I'm talking about the next off days coming. Why is it? You just had your three, so yeah, two. Yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can just kind of rest in between working these three days, and uh, hopefully not do 16s. I'm gonna try to just do 12 all three and get out, but we'll see if they freeze me. But she has got a hell of a fire going right now. I don't know if she's trying to catch our pile on and burn it all at once, or if she's trying to catch a whole house on fire. But She's got a hell of a fire going right now. But I just want to get on here, show you guys the boxes completed, show you guys the new lock splitter. There's going to be tons of videos made on, on that later, I'm sure. Because I am going to try to get some more firewood dropped off. Um, I'm even thinking about trying to get my hands on some seasoned firewood already. See if I can get a uh, quarter, at least a face cord for a really good price, see if I can't bundle it up and maybe make a little money off of face cord, but uh, there's gonna be plenty of chainsaws and lock splitters on this channel from here on out because, I, you know, why not? But I wanted to wrap this video up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, look forward to work with the garden beds. Like I said, we gotta get them clear coated, try to keep them at least for a couple years. And then all this stuff over here needs to be graded and leveled out. And then we can start filling some wood chips and some compost from the farm once we can get compost from the farm. We've got to let it kind of dry up so we can get the trucks and tractors back there. But um, maybe once we can actually get back there with the trucks and the tractors, maybe we'll bring the camera with and record that too. Probably be kind of cool to have it on the channel, especially since I don't have any tractors. But I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the channel. Hopefully you guys liked it. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Majority of our viewers are not subscribed. So take the two seconds, completely free, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. Then every single time we put a video out, whenever that is, because we're bad on schedules, you guys will be notified. Make sure you guys love yourself, love your friends and neighbors, because everybody needs a little love. You got anything you want to say? be kind you don't know what anyone's going through love you guys catch you guys on the next one peace